morning, Crusaders. I'm Elise Newman. And I'm Max Williams, welcoming you back from a restful half day. We hope that you all enjoyed the chance to catch up on some homework and maybe some sleep. Well, it happened. For the very first time in program history, the Crusaders are district champs after coming out on top of the Hazelwood East Spartans Friday night. Four seemed to be our lucky number, coming into the game as the four seed for Class 4 District 4, as the boys managed to win with the final score of 42-21. to It was a hard-fought game all the way through, but there could not have been a happier ending to the very first football district championship that we have ever hosted here at St. Dominic. We even had awesome fireworks. Way to go, guys. Yes, congratulations to the boys for bringing it home and continuing their season, which means that we'll see them again in action this Saturday at 2 o'clock p.m. back here at Crusader Stadium, facing off against MICDS. After suffering a tough loss to the Rams earlier this year, it will be up to the Crusaders to strike back in this revenge game in hopes of advancing even further. Speaking of sports, our winter teams are beginning to compete. Our varsity girls basketball held their jamboree last night, and our varsity boys play in theirs tonight. Make sure to pop out at 5 to support the boys in their preseason. Other hardworking individuals are our performing arts players, as we have to congratulate all our Crusaders on their incredible accomplishments from last week. First off, congratulations to the cast and crew of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We cannot wait for rehearsals to begin and to see our amazing show in January. In other performing arts news, we also want to congratulate those who performed in the Metro 8, SATB, and SSAA All District Choir this past Saturday at Fort Zumwalt South. This year, St. Dominic had a lot of representation in the choir, which is always good to see, and of course is a testament to all that Mr. Sissel has done for the program. We also want to highlight our campus ministry. They've been working hard to make this November a great month to spend time with Christ, just in time for Thanksgiving. Kairos 38 is back this week, and Kairos 39 leaves in two weeks. But it's not just all about Kairos and our juniors, because the very first senior overnight retreat just got back last night, and we couldn't be more excited to continue with the senior retreats during the remainder of the school year for all of the class of 2022 that is left yet to go. Plus, all of our recent returnees from retreats have just gotten back just in time for all school reconciliation today and tomorrow. Finally, I'm Elise Newman. And I'm Max Williams. Signing, Signing off. off.